Instrumental communication is the kind of communication we need in basic everyday life, just to get around and complete tasks. Um, if you're going to buy a ticket on the metro, you're going to ask, uh, how much does it cost? What do I, you know, do I have the right change? This kind of thing. That's instrumental communication. It's just the basic necessary to get things done. Um, existential communication goes a little deeper, um, well much deeper in fact. I mean existential communication is a communication which actually explores um, our existence and our, our coexistence in this universe. Um, in the workplace it would also be very important to have both instrumental communication and existential communication. Instrumental communication can, at its worst, be the language of bureaucracy. Have you done this? Have you done that? When are you going to hand this in? Now, 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 now. Um, useless paperwork that is absolutely useless for anything that you just have to fill out, gets put in a drawer, waste of time. Um, so the workplace can become completely uh, taken up by instrumental communication if you don't also make a place for existential communication. Um, which would be taking care of your employees, um, caring about the other people that share the office with you, uh, taking an interest in their life, where they're going, what they're doing, um, also where the company's going and what, what the company's doing. Um, so yes, I think it's important to have a balance between these two kinds of communication. Obviously, if you just have existential communication, it's too much. I mean, you can't, you can't talk about these things all day long. It's, overwhelming but yeah you need a balance and, and just as you need a balance in everyday life you need a balance in the workplace as well The best example I can think of that's coming to my mind, I don't know, I mean, this is something I did the other day. I'm not saying this is the perfect way to go through life. This is, the other day, um, I was sitting in a talk and uh, we were handed some baskets of empanadas and some nice things to eat. And um, I was eating this food and then um, I was told to go and sit somewhere else. And I felt really bad that I wasn't going to have the opportunity to say thank you to the, the woman that was clearing away the baskets. So I made her like a little note with pictures and I put it in the basket. <laughs> And um, when I was talking to someone else in the corner of the room, I noticed that the, the employer had, had come, she'd taken the basket, and um, I saw her look at the note, and I actually saw her cry when she saw this note in the basket that somebody had actually noticed her, her efforts that day. Um, I'm not saying that everybody should write little cards all day long, or, or, or that that's you know, a perfect way to be or something, but, it also adds interest to your life. If you, if, you, if you add these little bits of creativity into everyday life, I don't know, life becomes a more beautiful thing, I think. It's more enjoyable and um, I don't know, maybe it's just the effect Columbia's having on me, I don't know. <laughs>